Eh. Lake Gogebic. I don't need my wrap on my phone. Shoot. Oh. Thought I dropped it on the just text my mom. January 14th, it's 4.43 right now. I just got off. I got off school at. I got an hour really, so I got 1.30. It's a two and a half hour drive here. We stopped and grabbed some stuff. But I got two tip-ups set over here with big soccer minnows. I didn't film it because it's like six degrees out right now. And then we got this will turn my drop of tools in. The ion. We haven't drilled in your hole because we, we set up our tip-ups and then it froze. So we got that melting off. Once that melt off, we'll start jigging for walleye and perch or whatever bites. But should be good. We got about probably five permanent shacks. I'll show you where we are once like a tip-up goes up or something. But we got about five shacks over here. But we're on the outside of them. So let's go get them. Come back to when something happens. Took it to the side a little bit. Yeah, there's something on there. Got him. How's she Ooh. feel? Decent. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Eh, I'll Same take it. size. That's a regular minnow. No, it's not. Oh, it's That's a, a sucker? small sucker. Oh. Still alive? Looks okay. Let me dip this guy in the hole. Nope. Just caught the little wally eye. We're gonna put him back. Boom. Okay. Should I put that sucker minnow back down or? Nice. Got one. I just hooked up. I'd like to wait come up to do that. Nice little wall, yeah. Oh, dang it, he kind of swallowed it. That one came up fast. This going to be a good uh, couple of years or something. You got pliers? Uh, He's going to hook me if I reach in there. Are they any of the side of that tip up egg? Mm -hmm. That's the only spot I think they are. Let me see it. I'm going to get this guy out. Just got the walleye off, about 11 inch. I'm going to let him go. There he goes. What is he? A good size. Ooh. Oh, the eye. Dang. Hold him Swallowed up. her. Hold on, like no. Nice wally eye. I don't have a tape measure. I don't think he's 15 inches. Hill. We just measured him. He's not 15, but we're gonna toss him back. There it goes. More to come. It's getting dark now. I don't know what time is it. So we put on the lights that we got. It is 5.45s and the camera's starting to go on, like focus in and focus out because it's dark in here. So we put up the lights, but we're probably gonna fish into the night. We haven't had any more tip ups. We had a couple of marks. He had one to the hole, but it fell off. But fish are biting. Should catch more. Oh, it's spinning. She's spinning, let him chew it. Camera rolling? Yep. Oh, it's pretty big. Feels good. Eh. Well, same. A little bigger, not much. It's the same as that first one right there. Yeah. Come on. Stop moving. Chunky. Got this nice little Gogebic walleye. Third for the day for me. We're going to let him go. Get the line on there. There he goes. No, you can see me. Yeah, it's focused. I just screwed in the shack. We're gonna leave it here overnight because we're gonna come here for the morning fish. I got hockey tomorrow at like two up in Houghton, which is like an hour and a half drive. My face is all red. It's outside, it's like windy. It's like zero degrees right now, but we caught, well, my dad had two in the hole and they popped off. So we caught three walleye out of the ice. Actually, four, four walleye that came out of the ice and two that were like right out of the edge. But that's a six walleye day. That's the best. First time we ever really fished walleye lakes. We just bought a camp on it. Uh, we normally just fish perch. We we're going to go for them Sunday morning. This is going to be like a three day video. It's just Friday right now. 
but tomorrow we're going to be back out here for the morning fish we're going to leave everything here but we're going to pack up most of the stuff just so no one comes in here and takes everything that would kind of be a bummer but go start the snowmobile and head back to the camp morning it's probably like oh i gotta pop this down it's probably like 6 30 right now we're gonna try to get out there by seven we got about a 20 minute drive um just checking the garage fire right now we got i gotta load up all this It'll probably take me about five minutes or so hopefully there's a couple coals left probably not let's see yeah she looks pretty out i didn't really check it so i'll start this up and then see you out there out here we just got out here oh shoot my hands frozen my hands frozen to my tripod but we just got out here i got my two tip ups up here all the holes are frozen so we had to re-drill them and then the inside of the shack it's all like white so we got the heater going but it should be a good day we're getting out here we start they bite about around seven so we should get some more walleyes but i'm gonna start jigging my dad sent up his two tip ups right now but stay tuned we're gonna catch some more fish Here's the temperature right now, negative 11, and it's pretty cold. The holes are freezing over in here, and our tip-up holes are already like frozen. When you're setting it, it already has a skim ice over it. But we marked a couple fish so far. We are out here like an hour late because we couldn't find a shack, but it was dark out, so hopefully they start biting. Then what I'm using for my lure, oh, it's pulled cold. It's just like a little shaped bluegill, and then I put a minnow head. My dad has minnows right now. But I put a minnow head just to chop off a minnow and put the minnow head right here. And just, and the jigging, you just kind of raise it up and like shake it. And then they should come and slam it. But yeah, I'm going to drop her down. Ooh. Better leave me eat that thing. It's spinning super slow. Look at it. Giant. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a nice Donkey one. Donkey one. Oh, wait. that'll eat. Yeah. Stop flopping. We're gonna need pliers. I brought a pair of channel locks. No. Oh. Nice gogebic walleye. That's a nice one. Eat them out. Just this tip up, I don't know. Is this side? Yeah. Feel good or not? Feels good. Oh, yeah. It's a walleye. It's nothing. It'll be a keeper. Really? Close. Close to 16. 16? Or 15, I mean. How oh, did I throw back? I'll throw him back. Nice go give nice go give it walleye. Toss them back. Let them go. This one hasn't went up at all. Get out of there. I cut my knuckle already. Is it like to the side or anything? Yeah, it went over to the side. Got him? Oh, yeah, nice one. Nice one? Yep. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> another eater. Nice. Watch these guys here. Nice, another eater. We're going to get him in the shack quick so they don't see him. He so swallowed we'll come her. back when we're in the shack.
Feels good. Feels good. Yeah. Nice one. Not a keeper, but nice one. Made that thing, you know, guys. We can't get the hook out. We don't. It's pretty cold. It's probably like negative 10 right now. We don't want them to freeze up, so we're gonna put them back. There. I got one on. I just hooked up. It feels pretty good. No, how do I try to do Big perch. Big perch. Big perch. Holy crap. Bingo! Look it! <laughs> I was watching my videos back and this guy bit. <laughs> Woo! Nice perch. <laughs> Throw him in the pot for supper. Ooh, nice colors on him. Nice Gogevic perch. Can you push the opera cord on there? Trying to get out, son. Um, we just caught the six walleye or five walleye, however many we caught. We caught two keepers. It's right in my eyes. Um, we caught two keepers, and then I caught the one big perch. And then we, me and my dad missed a couple perch. But now I got to go to hockey, which is up in Houghton. We're in Gogebic, Marinesco County right now, which it's like probably an hour and a half away from Houghton. And then I'll probably come back here for the night fish and then probably come here tomorrow morning. So you probably see me when I'm back here. So stay tuned. My dad's marking a fish on the bottom right now. Right there, he's jump. Oh, you got him? Yep. Oh, shoot. There he is. He come up fast. What is it? Feel like a walleye? Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. A walleye. Oh, yeah. Nice oh. oh, shoot. Was that your lure? Broke my learn. Let's see it. Hold him up close. I just missed about probably... Oh, twice, twice the size Probably that twice the size walleyes. I bent my pole right down and didn't get him. But that's a nice walleye. We're going to put him back. He's legal, but we'll let him grow for next year. I just got that video. He threw it. It's lots of the Did it just pop? I was trying to set that one. Super. Let's go inside. Oh, it's locked up. Got him. Uh, he was like maybe a keeper. Oh, yep. Keeper. Oh yeah, that's way down. We're gonna have to cut it off. Active at least. He's still down there. Oh, he's coming. Oh, I got him. I got him. Come for it again. It's recording. Don't touch it. It's right on good. Oh, Slow walleye. Right. Right. Right, pull down. There's one down there. Okay. Nice little Golgivik walleye. We're going to send him back. Save my minnow head, too. Really? Yeah. Let me are all weeds on it, maybe. Might be full of weeds. <laughs> yeah. And nice walleye. Wall. There's so much stuff. You got to a loop. Took out some line. It's gonna be cold. But yeah, there's something. Got him. Ooh. 
Yeah, it's good. You wrap it up in line. Keep it? Yeah, might as well get enough for dinner then. Okay. Nice go Gibic walleye. Keeper. Sure. I'm gonna take my jacket off. Just gonna end it for today's video. We caught the we caught like 15 fish the whole week and I'm not exact. A couple I didn't film there. My dad caught them and he had them out of the hole before I could get the camera on. But today we caught the the two keeper walleye and then two other walleye. Lost a couple nice ones, but now we got to pack everything up. Packing up the shack right now. My dad's pulling tip ups. I'm packing all the vexlars and markums up and the poles and the rod holder. Then we got to start the snowmobile. Then we got about a six mile ride back to my camp. Well, yeah. So that's going to take us about 20 minutes and then we're going to pack up from there and head back to Marquette. So thanks for watching and see you next time and subscribe. Peace.